Welcome back to another video. I just wanted to share my little situation uh, on um, the reason being that I choose. I think I choose to invest in a house, right, instead of living in my vehicle. And the reason being, right, of course I don't want to be paying rent or taxes or none of that, but because the majority participate in the system and I cannot opt out, Unless I want to die, I have to be, I have to participate. I have to figure out loopholes and other methods of sustainability to, to maintain my lifestyle in this matrix. So with that being said, I think I'm moving toward trying to apply for a house, you know, and, and hopefully that house is on a location or in an area where I can park my RV, I can park my vehicles on the land. And I'll just have to figure out how I'm going to make more money to to be able to afford the mortgage each month. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, a back and forth feeling how, you know, how I feel about this system. Because some people saying the system going to fall. Some people saying that the system not going to fall. My homeboy, he said that the system not going to fall. And it's just upgrading or updating. Out with the old, in with the new. Whether it be the old system fall, a new system still has to exist to support billions of people's lifestyles. You see what I'm saying? And billions of people aren't ready to convert to that new lifestyle. Whether it be going back to the old system by nature or converting to the new system by man. So yeah. Um, the reason why I'd rather get a house is because if I'm going to be paying my money, I want to be putting my money towards something I'm going to temporarily own versus a an apartment, which I would be renting. Because I, I know I stayed in my other apartment years ago for like seven years. So in seven years, I think I did the math and I'm. I think I spent up to $231,000 on paying rent when that could have been a house in seven years. You see what I'm saying? Um. So, yeah, that's why I'd rather get a house. Hopefully, that house is under $100,000. I don't mind putting my money into my own space, you know. And also, um, I see... Um, these people they talk about mobile homes and tiny homes not being zoned for a certain area which I don't understand they talk about like a tiny home has to be zoned for like flooding areas and stuff like that and my thing is I made this on my community post and I want to make a video about it why does it matter if a house is is zoned for a flood first of all these um catastrophic events are man-made for the most part because notice the government is never touched by these catastrophes how, like I, I don't even understand how people haven't even realized that by by now 2023 and people still haven't realized that the government is never touched by these catastrophic events but they're always um given the giving us the impression that they care and that they can help us monetarily and that they support us emotionally, such as saying hashtag pray for Maui, hashtag pray for pray for um the people who had that um that flood in Katrina. You see what I'm saying? Like how, how haven't y'all realized that the government has never been touched by these catastrophic events, and these catastrophic events have been happening since the since the system was set in place. <laughs> Like, wow. But, yeah. I do have a pretty good credit score. So, I don't know if I would be applicable for or eligible for um this house that I'm planning on financing. But, yeah, I think it's a smart decision. I mean, because cause on the bright side, I'm looking at it like... If the system don't fall, which people saying is not going to fall, I might as well just go ahead and start paying for the house. At least the house will be mine, right?
So that's pretty much my thought process on that situation as far as like getting the house. Um and like I said, I mean and I only really want electricity just to play the game. And then I also thought about if I have my RV on my own property in my own space, I can have my RV in the in the um on the land and I can pretty much move somebody else into my house that I will be planning on purchasing. So really I could make money that way too. You know, just throwing out some ideas, thinking out loud. <clears throat> um so yeah, that's pretty much all I got as far as purchasing the house. But of course, y'all already know all of it is a scam. Whether you're paying to live in your vehicle or paying to live on a house, it's all a scam. But yeah, that's something I just wanted to share. I appreciate y'all for listening. And I'm about to proceed to playing the game. Peace.